Hi, today I will show you how to create a systemd unit for N8N. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the content so far. I've noticed something interesting in our channel statistics. Over 90% of you watching aren't subscribed yet. Now, I understand subscribing to a channel is a choice and I respect that. But let me share a few reasons why hitting that subscribe button can be a great decision for you. Firstly, it's completely free. You get notified about new content, ensuring you don't miss out on the latest videos that could be really useful or entertaining for you. It's like getting updates on what you enjoy without any effort. Secondly, your subscription supports the channel immensely. It helps me understand what content you like, and it motivates me to keep creating and improving. Plus, with a larger subscriber base, I can bring in more resources and perhaps even some collaborations that you would love. And lastly, being a part of our community means you're not just a viewer. You're a valuable member who can shape the future of this channel. Your comments, likes, and feedback guide me in creating content that resonates with you. So if you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. It's just one click, but it makes a huge difference. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you as a part of our subscriber family. In this command line, I will show you a script N8N that I wrote to make everything work like a charm. I mean, you will be able to just run it and install everything as it should be done. Of course, logging, display spinner, execute command, everything is properly created, check root. So if you are using a root user or using a sudo to uh, escalate privileges, update, upgrade system, check packages like build essential, Python 3, Node.js, NPM. Why? Well, because in a previous tutorial, I already installed Node.js and NPM, and I presented you the way that you can just run an, an using npx command, npx and, 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 and it's starting. But today we will be installing and, and globally using npm so this is the difference and thank this it will create a an and, and binary in usr local bin directory and because of that because we will have a binary we will be able to create a system d unit that will work very very smoothly and now you can see we have an option adding system d entry and we are adding system the entry the way that we are using a cut command with sudo and end of file. So we are creating an n service file in directory etc system the system. And then we have a unit, we have up the network target service type simple user exec start is in user local bin n8n and this is the binary and it is starting in tunnel mode restart and failure installed and well i will get rid of this symbolic link because i don't need it anymore i was just testing it and that it the uh, wanted by multi-user target and alias and it and service is creating automatically the symbolic link in the directory etc system the system multi-user target wants excellent so that's it and you need to have a knowledge how to create a properly a uh, system the unit and thanks to this you will achieve your goal and you will not waste your time and here I will just use a display spinner function and dollar then exclamation mark flip 60 seconds and I will just write echo and wait 16 seconds for an 8 and uh, service or uh, yeah and then uh, there is an option um, to check the status uh, of the N8N and of course mine and execute the mine. So check root, update, upgrade, check packages, install N8N, add entry and 8 n service uh, is uh, displaying the status. So we are enabling it, we are starting it and checking the status of N8N. So I will quit it now 
just H mode plus X and N8 and dash install.sh to make it executable. And if I will run it this way, N8 and install, you are not running this as a sudo user or you are not a root user. So sudo like this dot slash n8 and dash dot sh will run the script and it will install everything. And you can see that N8N is running, there is no complaining about any error, everything went smoothly and now we will learn how to use systemd unit, so sudo systemctl status, right, and of course N8N service. Okay, so there was a failure. Um, I don't know why, but it was running. Okay, so it's activating now. Um, that is interesting. We will check it. And now it's active and running. So sometimes it may happen that there is a problem. But if we will check it a few times, then yeah. Or maybe there is uh, some time needed more than 60 seconds. Um, we need more uh, time to make it work to we have to check that an item is running and well I don't know I just realized that 60 seconds should be enough to make it work and that is now we can just check is it enabled so is enabled and it is how it is working so I will show you what is going on here um I will go into the etc directory system D and system and here we have an 8 and service. So I will cut it just like that. And this is it. And if we will go to into multi user and we will list it, we have an 8 and service. And if we will list, uh, list this file, and there will be an 8 and service, this is a symbolic link. So what happens if we will disable the service sudo systemctl? Uh, no, not try right. disable and n8 and service. You can see this n8 and symbolic link is removed from the user target want, and now, uh oh, yeah, indeed, the file doesn't exist. And if we will now enable it uh, like this, then there is a same link created. And if we will list it, you can see it is back. So thanks to this, we can work with system D unit. Why? Well, because of this. The section install wanted by equals multi-user target alias an item service. Thanks to this option, we are creating symbolic link in a directory multi-user target once and this is it so because of this uh, if we will check is enabled and it is the n8n will be starting during the boot process like a charm it will start together with system d so this is the solution and this is the proper modern approach to make it work and this is something that is working and now you want to be sure that in fact and and, and is working i already created in previous tutorial and i was installing uh, node.js npm i was running and and through the npx and i created a flow so we will see is it working and can i log in there so go to browser and now type the ip address of the machine where the n8n is installed in my case it will be 
10.10.0.138 and of course the default port for N8N is 5678 and hit enter. Now you should see the panel from the N8N and that's it and I'm logged in and this is the panel uh, where I have a flow and my Ulanzi device, my clock, should show you the status. Now I will just switch to the... Uh, I will show you. I have a small triangle when I will hover over it and I can disable and enable the screen. So let's do this and I will switch to the camera. Now I will be disabling it and it should go to sleep and now I will enable it. And yeah, it's working. So this is the confirmation that in fact N8N is working without any problem. Now I will go back to a browser and I will just log out and I will log in back and you will be able to see that everything is working. And I already tested it that after a reboot of this machine this is working but we can test it together so it's working I will log out one more time and now I will go back to command line and you're curious oh how to check the IP address probably yeah quite easy host name uh, dash capital I and I have this IP address and what more i will reboot this machine and we will work for uh, the machine and we should be able to see this is something that is working as expected okay so just sudo reboot and here we go the system will reboot now and what we have to do we have to wait now it will try to restart and I will show you that after the restart, the N8N is working like a charm. So yes, it will take some time. And we have to wait. Now the machine is back. Okay, so what we are going to do, um, well, we need to just type sudo stamctl and status n8n and you can see it's active and if you will type just sudo systemctl you can see something like this and you can see n8n here is loaded, active and running. So we have an 8N service that is running during the boot process. There is no problem with this and N8N is running. I will quit it and now I will switch to browser and I will refresh now this website just by hit this or control F8 and Yes, it is working. Control F8 also. It is refreshing one more time. Yes, it's loading the login panel. So you can log into this panel and you will be able to see the flow. Click it and voila, that's it. Everything is working as expected. So N8 and is installed in a proper manner. System D unit is created according to the modern approach. So the application is uh, running during the boot process. There is no problem at all. Mm, every error that I just met during this configuration, I get rid of them by creating a proper system D unit. And I checked the whole process and I wrote proper bash script that will do the whole job for you. Excellent. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much and have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.